In this video, we are going to see how to connect Texicam L8 panel with a Texicam compatible GSM dialer. So I have a Texicam L8 24 panel connected here. So in that we have port called COM1. So this COM1 is get connected with my COM1 port of my GSM module that's the first connection we have to do so I always prefer to connect COM1 on the panel side and in GSM module COM1 is available you can connect it that's the first connection second thing is connect the antenna on the main antenna terminal and you it will come with the wire with the antenna keep this antenna at the maximum distance or the place where we will get the maximum signal and third thing is this is the slot to insert the sim onto that so it's a 4g slot is available and it is also have two dip switches show here one and two by default both will be in off condition if i am going to use a uh, Airtel sim then I can I have to switch on this switch number one in on position so it is because some of the 4g sims it may support for uh, uh, data but it may not support for uh, uh, SMS and all so that is why the switch one should be on only for Airtel sim other sims both the switch should be in off condition and there will be LED status are there one is the status LED other one is network LED the network LED nor normally the green color which blinks and the status LED blue which normally in on or if it is in off condition then there is some signal issue or signal is low so if it is off or if it is blinking then then the signal is low or if it is in on condition then the sign enough signal is there so that's all on the module side now we can switch on the panel we can configure it so to configure the pa panel what need to do go to one two three four zone setup it will display press seven udl tg option you can press yes from here you just press eight com port setup first we need to configure the com port press yes Onboard Digicom, nothing fitted. Yes, you can press yes. Then COM1. So COM port 1 on the panel side. We had connected the COM, COM GSM module. So now we want to change it. Press no into button here. Now you press 7. So it will be changed into GSM module. Press yes. So that's the first step. We need to program it. You can come back by press notepad symbol. So now we have to press 3, it will come to program digi, press yes. So now ARC1, we have 5 ARCs are there, ARC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, each ARC we can give 2 numbers and you can assign it as for SMS or for call. So if I have example, I have four numbers to be program. What I can do? ARC1 and ARC2. I can give two two numbers. That means four numbers I can give and I can program it for SMS messaging. And ARC3 and ARC4, I can program it for call, call getting the call, which is in contact ID mode. So first I will guide you how to program two numbers for SMS and then call. So for that what need to do in ARC1, yeah, disabled, press no. Now you can press down arrow and select SMS messaging, SMS messaging, yeah, press yes. Now you just primary number, it will ask, you just press no and then give the number, whatever number you want to give. So whatever the number you want, you can give it the primary number and press yes again. It will go for second number. You just press no and give the secondary number.
give the second number whatever the second number it should dial or sms you can give the second number and press yes then press yes again it will account number just press yes and dial attempt you can press yes or you can if you want to change press arrow you can change it into two and click yes now it will report areas press yes now it will ask reports what are the reports it should uh, sms or update you now you just press no and press four and seven i will repeat i will come back again program dg sms messaging primary number secondary number account number dial attempt report ab yes here reports press no press uh, you can press uh, 5 because and you can press 7 so only p a o and t should be enabled then click yes click yes again con config one here just if you want to change it press no and press four that is enable gsm and press six for gsm use gsm first so that means i want sms first that's why i am enabling use gsm first and click yes again press yes config two here you, you press no and which port you connected your gsm no in this panel i had connected on com one then i need to press one so com one port selected and yes so press yes so that's all on sms message configuration now if you press down arrow it will go to arc2 here i can give two more numbers and i can program it for uh, call receiving the call so for that what need to do press no press down arrow select contact id press yes click yes here again primary number press no you can give the first number nine double zero so whatever the first number you want you can give it press yes again secondary number press no give the secondary number whatever the second number you want to give you can give then press yes then press yes account number press yes dial attempt if you want to re reduce you can reduce it yes now report areas a and b yes and reports here we need to press no and press 3 5 and 7 and click yes yes then config one here you want to enable only gsm for that press no and then press 4 enable gsm yes so press s yes again config two. here we need to set which com port you connected your gsm module so i had connected in com one that's why i just press no and on com port one yes that's all so arc1 and arc2 i configured it so after giving this configuration if you see on my uh, gsm module all my five leds will blink if not uh, if the numbers are not programmed and or if the com port is not configured properly the third led uh, or the second led will not glow at all it will be in off condition so that's all on the configuration part and uh, to control this panel so you can come out from the menu now if you arm the panel if you arm the panel uh, from uh, keypad you will get an sms update on your mobile test it whether you are getting it or not and if you are getting it then disarm the panel from using keypad check whether you are you are you getting the disarm update second level testing third is uh, on the send the sms from your mobile the sms command is by default 5678 space arm and send to the sim number whichever inserted on the gsm dialer or gsm module so that the panel should arm and you can disarm it from your mobile by sending a command or sms like 5678 space d arm d a r m so that the panel will get disarmed now if you want to test are you getting any 
call or notification again you can omit from the mobile by sending a command 5678 space arm so that the panel will get on after the delay time what you can do you can activate any particular zone so that the panel will go into alarm mode you you should get an sms alert with the zone number zone name everything after sms it will call your number and you will get a pre record message of panel is in alarm karke you will get some notification message or not voice message when you attend the call so that is the way so now what you can do you can disarm it by sending a sms 5678 space d a r m so that the panel will goes into disarm and if you want to reset you can send one more message 5678 space reset r e s e t so that the uh, panel will get reset or if you send once again that all the fault will go and the panel will come to normal condition so the points need to be consider is when you are by using uh, any other sims like geo or say any other sims both the switch should be in down position or up position only whenever you use sim airtel sim then you just check by default condition if you are not getting the calls then what need to do switch on the first switch and then uh, switch off the module and switch on the module or then you can try it whether you are getting the and whenever you use this uh, texicam gsm module it is better to have one that texicam commissioning cable through which you can see how much signal strength is there so we have a texicam windex software available through which you can connect this panel with the windex software in that there we have a option to see the signal strength based on the signal strength we can position the antenna in different area and you can see how much maximum signal strength we are getting so that will help us so whenever you commission it uh, with the gsm module better to buy this module uh, this cable also so that you can uh, very we can commission the panel as well as you can configure the module very easily thank you we will see few more main important points which need to be consider when you connect a gsm module first thing is always better to use com one port on the texicam panel to connect this gsm module that's the first point we need to consider in very rare case in case you are using com1 for something else if you are going to use com2 you need to consider one more thing where is the com2 here this is the com2 port so in case if you are using com2 then on the panel you need to do one more configuration i will tell you 1 2 3 4 Seven UDL DG option. Yes, here what first setting? What do you to do? You have to do the COM port setting. Yes, COM port setup. Here what to do? COM port two. Nothing fitted is mentioned. You can press no. And here you just change it into GSM module and click yes. That is the first setting we need to do. And second thing what we need to do is. in the baud rate there is a option <coughs> setup module yes if you come down if you press keep on down arrow here there is a option to set the baud rate only record if you are using com2 if you are using com1 no need to change anything as it is you can use it if you are using com2 on the panel side then go to this setting press no change it into 9600 and then click s yes. so this settings is required when you use com2 port on my panel and one more thing how you can see the signal strength from this uh, menu go to setup module yes you can press down arrow here you have a option to see the signal strength this is the page so without the communication cable also 
without the software you can see how much signal is available on this particular area uh, on the uh, <coughs> which the sim which we are connected here so what is the signal strength because if it is not detected or not configured properly it will be in in minus 113 db if your sim is detected your configuration is okay almost okay uh, then you will get some range between minus 55 50 uh, 60 70 75 within that uh, based on the signal strength level you will get some better number here so whatever the lowest number have better signal strength example 55 is better signal strength or 59 is better signal strength compared to uh, minus 87 so this is the page where you can see the signal strength also now the other points is again when you program it as i said to give the program numbers one two three four seven udldg option where you have a option to give program dg Yeah, so program DG from here you will have five ARCs will be there ARC1, ARC2, ARC3, ARC4 and ARC5. So each ARC, so by default all the ARC will be in disabled condition. Each ARC you can set. So earlier we said ARC1 you can give two number and as primary number and secondary number. Then you can configure it SMS messaging or contact ID. SMS messaging is to get the SMS update. Arm, disarm, alarm, SMS update, you can get it. So for that is for SMS. Update. And yeah, contact ID is to get the call alert when the panel goes into alarm. So each ARC you can set two numbers and then you can configure it for SMS messaging or for getting call. So normally example again I will repeat if we have a four numbers one two three four what you can do in ARC one you can select as SMS messaging and you can give first number as primary and second number as secondary number and you can program it for SMS message configuration and then you can go to ARC two here also you can select as SMS messaging and you can give the third number as primary and fourth number as secondary number and you can do the sms message configuration now you can then you can go to arc3 here you can change it into contact id then give the first and second number here and program it for contact id so that you will get the call alert and then go to arc4 change it into again contact id give the third and fourth number and program the settings as guided here for contact id or to get the calls so those points need to be considered